All right, how's it going, everyone? My name is Christian Lomelli, and coming back at you with another recap video today. Uh, just plain and simple, right? Like always, quick four, uh, four or five minute video. I traded Costco this morning. It's roughly, yeah, it's 12, almost market close um, here in California. It's 12.34. Traded Costco. I got in. Um, everything, this this was kind of a tricky one. I was considering not, not trading today or trading it like if it was real money and not trading, but I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Um, it earnings per share were me um, were met. Uh, company was growing, revenue was growing. Uh, everything seemed to be doing fine. The only thing was that none of the numbers met the investors' expectations. Now you may be wondering what if it's growing, then why, uh, why, um, why would an investor be attracted? Investors were expecting a certain number, and this company produced a certain number. Simple as that. And um, all in all, I got in at, uh, what was it? Let me check. Yeah, I got in at 288.4. 288.4. So right at market open. Right here. And I got out at 284.96. 284.96. Yep, for a 1.9% profit. Again, uh, this was a short position, which means I um, pretty much hit sold and then bought shares back when it was lower, the lower price, keeping the difference. Um, yeah, all in all, just kind of breaking down my pattern, my overall why I took the position. And I'll, I'll even show you guys kind of more in depth of what, what was said. Um, here, for example, I think, yeah, it's popped up already. Um, Fiscal uh, quarter four revenue increased to four seven point five billion from forty four point four billion, but lagged behind analyst consensus of forty seven point um, seven billion. <laughs> so they were a little short uh, in terms of analyst expectations, um, but all in all, they everything was pretty much met. It was just a matter of fact that they didn't quite meet analysts or investors' expectations, right? that made the price kind of shoot down in the beginning. And here, um, had a huge pullback, roughly of about almost 4%, kind of came back up, and then right at market open, I was expecting would happen pretty much, which was it opened, it pushed up a bit, and then it came back down, and then throughout the day, it's kind of been escalating up, because again, the company is doing good, Costco is growing, uh, they opened up a whole new, um, bunch of new warehouses, uh, all over different uh, states, which, yeah, it, it is growing, but in the beginning, I was expecting it to have a pretty good sell-off, which it did, and cut my losses like five to six minutes in. I mean, cut my profits five to six minutes in, and um, yeah, all in all, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to come back in here and explain my daily, uh, what happened with my overall daily positions that I take every single morning. Now, going back to my style of trading, which is fundamentals, right? Um, it's, it's proven to be somewhat more consistency for my, uh, for my unique characteristics and like how I trade, which I'm, I'm gonna keep doing it for the next couple, uh, probably weeks or even months and then transition over into, uh, my, uh, actual TOS, um, real live trading account, right? Which if you guys don't know, it offers zero commissions now, which is, which is, um, fairly good. I was staying out of TOS because of, it's like outrageous numbers which was like seven dollars uh, and seven dollars out for each trade almost it was like 675 or 695 if i'm not mistaken but yeah all in all make sure you guys like comment share and subscribe and um my instagram will be down below if you guys have any questions but yeah like always i'll see you guys tomorrow or on monday i'll see see you guys later